Happy holidays. Y'all, I, I don't know if it's my mommy instinct or what, but I can be sleeping. I could be in a deep sleep and hear my baby call my name. Um, because around 3 a.m., girl, I know I look a mess. Around 3 a.m., I heard a soft, mama. I thought I was dreaming. And I woke up and I'm like, I'm like, that's JB. So I went in his room and I'm like, was that you? He's like, yeah, is it morning time yet? He can go back to sleep, thank God. Cause he was, it's three o'clock, but no. So he's still asleep. So, um, what's going on y'all? This, I, I need to, I think I'm dehydrated or something. I'm tired and when I'm tired, my, now my eyes definitely throbbing cause I'm tired still. Cause he woke me up and I was up. When you wake me up close to four, that's it. I can't go back to bed. So I did not, I didn't go back to bed. Um, I'm up editing videos for you helpless. Um, I have only two more videos this year to pull out. That's it, y'all, because I'm in the, I'm in the middle, middle of vloggers, vlogmas and just due to the holidays. Um, I don't know how Red by Kiss is gonna like my video because I was not feeling their head scarves as a styling scarf. I mean, I felt like that those head scarves were giving me i have a bunch of peppermints in my purse i'm going to bible study you know what i mean it's just i wasn't feeling it as a styling scarf they weren't cute and i kind of said that in a very pc way in my review so um speaking of some of jb's christmas presents came in child miss Lori said she would help me wrap them i don't want to go over there because they have dogs and they have dog hair everywhere i don't want you know no I'm just gonna figure out how to wrap these presents. <laughs> I am crafty, but I cannot wrap presents for shit. Remember how you used to be able, what was it? It was either at Sears, it was at Sears or JC Penney's, and I'm still, I'm sure they still have it. You used to be able to just bring your packages and they were wrapping for you for a fee. I'm pretty sure they're wrapping services, but what for? He's gonna rip through those presents. Girl, please, I'm not paying to wrap those presents. I will wrap those presents like he ordered five pounds of catfish. I do not care and throw a bow on the hill. The first year, I didn't even bother to wrap some of them. So anyway, y'all, today is my first day back at work, but it's very slow, thank God. I had such a good time yesterday with my friend Rainy. We had a blast. I was off, so I really wasn't, you know, clocking to see if I to get back home. I just have to be mindful because I went all the way up in t to Tempe, which is a good 30, 40 minutes from me. Um, but we had a fun time. We went to a bar where we used to go when we worked together. Um, we were there for three hours. No, 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 wait. We were there for two and a half hours. Yeah, but it was a good time. We had a great time, had a few drinks. You know, we didn't get thrown, no, because we got to drive. Just had a few drinks, some good appetizers, and we're just talking to the bartender who we used to chill, not chill out with, but it's almost like meeting up with old friends, even with the bartender. So it was just a really good time. And she sent me a text message last night. She's like, thank you for the conversation. We need to meet up more often. I said, girl, I go up there every, look, I have time with, my friends, I try to do something every month, if not by myself, you know, go somewhere every, on a monthly basis. Um, and so, she's like, okay, cool, just let me know when you're going back up there again next next month. I'm like, yeah, I'll let you know. I've been trying to get my girlfriend, Miss Yolanda, I don't know what's going on with her, y'all. She's one of those friends who, unless I'm at work with her, she rarely reaches out to me. And look, I, it's exhausting trying to keep friends. If you don't want to talk to me, I'm not going to keep trying to reach out to you. And I know she may have some personal stuff going on. Um, she's trying to retire early. But send a quick text message to say, girl, is she, you know, so I'm, you get three times with me, three tries, and I'm done. I'm like that, y'all. I'm not wasting no more. I don't waste any more energy on relationships that are not meant to be. You know, the, everything has a season and a reason. I am... I'm a type of person, I'm perfectly cool. I don't get any feelings about it. You know, whatever, girl, just move on. So yeah, y'all, um, 
I was catching up some more videos. I was so sad to see I couldn't even finish it because I, I was this close to breaking down. Um, what is her name? Keisha? Is her name Keisha, you guys? Her mother passed away like within the past two days. And she's young. Isn't she young? She's young. Uh, we... I, that is just horrible. She came on cam. She was just saying how, you know, this is the reason why it may take me a while. I, I, I'm not going to be on, on social media. I'm not going to be uploading for a while because her mom passed away suddenly last night. That, y'all, I just, that just really broke my heart. Y'all, I'm at my favorite place. You already know. I'm here to get some more craft stuff and also to get some stuff to bake JB's teacher. Um... His school, not the teacher. I got his, some, his school some stuff. And I know I'm going to get rid of some. My budget's going to be $25. Okay, $25 for everything. Alright, so now time to see what type of stuff I could get as far as baking for them. We're going to do... Brownie mix, uh, chocolate, cake. Okay. Yeah, it's cold. When I tell you it is cold, my thermostat reads 43 degrees. And, and I'm not built for this type of weather. I'm just not. Let me get my, I told you I'm a germaphobe. Let me go ahead and wipe my hands with this here is this what the heck is this i did not click on that i mean maybe i did but no yeah what is up with these latinos saying the n-word anyway um anyway girl that's a whole nother discussion um y'all we're getting closer to christmas it's the most wonderful time of the year -la 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 -la. i know y'all thinking girl if you don't stop it y'all y'all know i like this good time of the year so look i started watching you know the christmas movies again and um let me get my snacks together and i'll show y'all what i bought mmm cranberry juice i love it um I watched a Lifetime Christmas movie last night. What was it called? I was falling asleep on it, but um, some person in the neighborhood is doing good deeds. I think it's called like Christmas Deeds or Christmas Secret Santa. Girl, everybody looked perfect. Why is it? Everybody looked perfect in those movies. Everybody, you know, they have the perfect Christmas ornament. Their kids are perfect, you know. Um, lately, it's been journalists moving back to the area, someone moving back to their hometown. They get trapped in a snow globe, and girl, mm. you know what? It should be one serving per container. They they doing something, so I shouldn't be eating it. I know, especially since it's not even nine o'clock. So I I paid a dollar for these chips, right? The chips are down here. I get half, I paid you for a full bag of chips. And I get, excuse me, don't complain. Don't complain. You need to lose one anyway. Um. Hmm. I'm looking at other people do vlogmas, y'all. I was watching. Her name is. She does the three-in-one videos where she does her hair, makeup, and an outfit. She's Nigerian. She lives out, in, I think she lives out in Texas, because I could have sworn she said she went to school at UNT. But she travels a lot, so I'm not sure where she lives at exactly. And I don't really watch her videos consistently, but I did watch her vlog once this morning. And it looks like either, you can tell by someone how, how someone carries herself if they come from a certain status you know what i mean so i could tell her parents have money somebody in the family comes from money um and so sophie i think it's sophiology so sophiology is that how you pronounce it y'all know i can't pronounce anything beautiful young lady i originally started watching her because she has a couple of videos on intermittent fasting first of all she's young i 
realize how young she actually is. She's only 20, like 22, 21 years old. And she's actually one of those people I thought was older. Not that she necessarily looks older, but again, she carries herself easily. I thought she was in her late 20s. Anyway. I was watching her vlog in this video. First of all, cracking up laughing because she's she's a little high energy, high energy. She could be a little quirky. I love her personality. I guess she was opening up her presents. I know her. She was opening up some Amazon packages and cut herself. Y'all, I can't look at blood. She said someone broke into her car. So she showed her car with all the glass and everything. She called, you know, she called 911. Um, I don't think they stole anything. They can't do anything for you, you guys, honestly, a lot of the times. Because when we were living in Scottsdale, this was my own fault. I had left a bag of shoes. I left some expensive-ass shoes. I mean, the shoes ranged from $80 to like $125. And they were all my good shoes. It was easily $600 worth of shoes. And there's only like five pair of shoes, six hundred dollars worth of shoes, and right. So of course they saw that. They saw it, and it was my fault. I left it in there, so they saw the the gleam of some of the shoes had um crystals on them and all that stuff. Very, I, I, y'all look. When I was in my twenties, I was I would wear shoes bad. I was that girl in in the office. You never saw me in flats. I'm coming up here slaying everyone and four inch pumps and my you know I was rocking it. So anyway. They sold all those shoes. I called 911 and all they were like was, okay, well, we can report it, but they didn't do anything. There's nothing else. They, they really didn't do anything. This instance, she counted. She was going up and down. I guess her um, her car was in a garage at her where she lives at. They have a garage, right? A covered garage. And 15 cars broken in, into. They put trash in her car and she couldn't again she couldn't tell whether or not they stole anything but it didn't appear that they stole anything so i was reading some of the comments more than likely those are kids doing that it's crazy but it's more i don't see a grown-ass person going around you know um not to say it can't happen but more than likely it is teenager there are kids doing it excuse me all right y'all so i got some more wrapping paper because I did have some leftover wrapping paper in there. However, I'm not sure how much is on a roll. And I'd be damn if I'm wrapping, you know, presents and I run out of wrapping paper. I don't, I already don't like to wrap presents. So I don't need to be running out, okay? Let me pack this up, pack this up some. That matches this. Like, y'all, I'm not good at this. I was slap that on a um, toy without even wrapping it. I got some fall paper, okay. I got some uh, gallon Ziploc bags. What I'm gonna do is probably tomorrow, today I'm gonna organize the house around and kind of put things together because I'm in the mood to do it. So while I'm still in the mood, I'm gonna be doing organizing little pockets of the house. But more than likely either tomorrow or, what's it, I got time, tomorrow or Thursday, I'm gonna get JB's crafts together, get them all together. If everything I need to create a craft, I'm even going to write instructions on what we're doing, everything to create the craft and put it here inside of this gallon bag, okay? And y'all gonna see that, so don't worry. Then I have some chocolate box cake mix. I'm gonna be making chocolate pound cake. <clears throat> Let's put this back in here. I'm not gonna eat all these chips. Yeah, just to let y'all know. It's so cold. I haven't been back home since I dropped off JB. And I have groceries in here and it's still cold enough. It's 40 something degrees. I have 43 right now. All right. I have cotton balls. We're gonna be doing, you know, little crafts with cotton balls. Some fudge brownie mix to make the teachers some brownies. I'm running out of room. I got room for these, so. Volcano kit for JB. All right, y'all, that's enough chips. I got some toothpaste. This is the toothpaste I use, Ultra Bright. And I, sometimes I like to brush my teeth with baking soda even though she told me to stop doing that. I have some sticky notes because I never seem to be able to find them. 
I have some energy bars. I probably have one of these like right now because I'm starving. Okay, let me put this stuff in here. I can't wait to get home to get all organized, you guys. Are y'all ready? You should be excited like me, hell. <laughs> all right, I got some um, hot cocoa with marshmallows. We can have one morning in the morning of Christmas. Yeah, I'm gonna make y'all sick with the happiness. Like, honestly, it's, it's good to be alive in, in 2019 and going forward. I have some chocolate to go on top of the pound cake. I'm gonna just crush them up and put them on top. Speaking of some icing, I have some tape because I can never be able to find it. And I need to put this in the back for the Christmas presents. I have some dry erase markers for our dry erase board. And this is a little pen holder for the dry erasers. Yeah, Alice is about to show that. Girl, you get I'm gonna turn myself around. I have some paper plastic plates for the um pound. I'm gonna slice up the pound cake. Y'all gonna sit slice up the pound cake and lay it on here already self-serve. You know, self-serve yourself, girl. And then the brownies are gonna be on a separate one. Now 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 you see now. Um this is another another reason why we should be moving back home. I get an email. Let me put the camera down, girl. And I have to go. Ooh, girl, let me let me take my birth control real quick. Cause we were at out somewhere. And there was a baby acting a plum full. Ooh, I was a little child. Hold on, y'all. Got memories. Um, I get an email from the after school care for the winter, winter camp or whatever. And they're like, just a reminder to sign your child up if you need care during the winter break. Cause right now we just have one child enrolled. Guess who's the one child enrolled? My child. Y'all, I'm like, what the hell? So they need 12 kids, 12 kids to get registered. So, you know, so I'm like, oh Lord, y'all please, please register, please. Now, um, <laughs> y'all know I'm silly. Now, the funny thing is that I went ahead, y'all, I, I am a planner, so I went ahead and contacted some other moms and was like, look, please let me know if you would like to schedule a play date because we don't have any family here. My husband works, and so it'll, be, it'll just be JB and I for, you know, two weeks, two and a half weeks, it feel like. Yeah, it's basically two and a half weeks if you include the weekends. So a couple of them said, yeah, sure, we'll get together, and I know they will. Ryan Little. <laughs> This is new, you guys, a new dish for me. It looks a little oily, but it's not. Um, this is shredded chicken with cabbage, a little bit of tomato sauce, and half and half. I'm gonna pair some rice with this. And then I'm making one of the moms a bunch of soup, but we're gonna, I'm gonna take out about two servings for us.